All right, this is a little bit different, but I wanted to show you guys today kind of the process, uh, you know, a couple of weekends of, of work um, in building these raised beds. I came up with this raised bed design. It's not anything too novel, just kind of um, using volunteer trash trees on the property to, to create stakes and and weave these things together, but what you're seeing right now is the uh, the proof of concept. This is just me experimenting and figuring out what I wanted to do with the materials I had and um, and if this was even a viable um, form. So I'm laying the, the stakes in. I've already built the first one. I did not time lapse the first one I built. You can see it behind me. down some more. I mudded the walls in. That's that's blue clay from the creek there. It was a cloudy day, so it was kind of a nice dramatic shot. I put some um, blur on it afterwards. That was, that's a time lapse of some arugula seedlings that ended up ultimately dying burning down stuff to be more compostable and get potash and sand at the bottom of that raised bed. You don't see any of the sand, but I'm pretty sure I've already put it down. So all the ash that was coming in was just on top of it. All right, I've moved away from the creek side and I'm now doing the main garden bed that will be out in the sun, the deeper one. So I'm once again gathering skinny trash trees to create stakes as you see here. I'm going to take those stakes, lay them out in the shape that I'd like to have the bed. Now comes the weaving. It's just like a basket. You just do in and out and just keep tension on it. And then I got around to doing a little bit of the mudding before sundown, but I had to come back with a headlamp, which you'll see in a minute here, and do some more until I just got too tired. Long exposure on each shot uh, allowed for this streaky, magic-looking effect with the headlamp. And now the next day, I let the chickens out. I got a ton of the mudding work done on this day, and there's only a, a little bit more after this day is complete. I removed all of the, the grass from the hillside here to use as sod later, and a little bit as a straw reinforced um, mud combination, whatever. So I'm sodding, you know, I'm putting mud in any place where I can see wood on the outside and getting stuff soldered in, the grass soldered in. Mudding on the inside here to solidify the walls. You gotta throw the mud to get the air out of it. That's what helps it stick best. So now, I guess I'm just wrapping up the, the final ends of mud. A tree has fallen through the fence, unfortunately, because of how windy it was, so I'm cleaning up that tree now. Dropped frame rate a little bit, it's another day. That tree you see out in the distance leaning ultimately goes through the fence as well. I'm not, I don't think it's today though, I think it's later on. Uh, but yeah, it wasn't really too smart for me to hang out in that area knowing that that tree was leaning so so hard. But yeah, I'm just gathering wood uh, for a for a fire, and I had a friend come over. Um, he helped me gather wood because there was quite a bit of it, and many hands, light work, you know the whole dealio. So we had plenty of wood at this point, but we were getting down to the the lumber that was a lot, um, you know, a lot thicker. So 
I couldn't chop that stuff up with my hand axe, you know, my forest axe. Uh, it's not really forced up that big. So uh, eventually, um, my father bought a chainsaw and then we ended up chopping that stuff up. You'll see that here in a little bit, but this is another day. It's colder, much, much colder today. The weather's been just all over the place. Except sunny. It has been consistently sunny. And that has been awesome. See, I'm, I'm mudding in. I, I know at this point that I'm going to light all this on fire to get it burned down. And I want to protect any exposed wood that could potentially char and, you know, um, mess up the integrity of the structure. So this is just me finishing up the mudding process and stacking up the wood in a teepee shape to, to best light it for a bonfire. That's my dad down there cutting up the fallen log that had fell through the fence. I'm just taking wheelbarrow loads back and forth, or not back and forth, but the wheelbarrow back and forth, the loads from, you know, the fallen spot up to the, um, up to the fire pit, up to the fire pit, yeah, sorry, my dog has come down and is now distracting me, um, yeah, we had some company come over while we were finishing up these tasks, and so they came to supervise. About to fell a tree. I'm pulling on the rope in the distance there. Now it's fallen. We got it to fall in the success in the right direction. We took out some fence pieces because we thought we were gonna fell another tree, but ended up we ran out of daylight. So this is the next day. This is technically the next evening. Uh, sunset. I've invited some friends over some people I work with, and we're just going to enjoy um, releasing the carbon back into the atmosphere. Not the healthiest practice for the environment, but it's better than driving around all day, so, you know, we can't, can't take all the pleasures of life away just because they have, you know, very small impacts certainly a compromise to all of this but yeah we just cut up and had a good time um ate some snacks but thank you guys for watching definitely check out you know my next video this is a little different from my normal stuff but peace